virtual worlds make awesome laboratories. And one of my favorite virtual worlds is Fortnite. I've been wondering for a long time how fast the vehicles in Fortnite really go. I mean, a lot of the vehicles have speedometers, but those numbers could just be made up. And even if they aren't, it doesn't even tell you what the units are. So, I mean, is it kilometers per hour, miles per hour, meters per second? It just doesn't say. Plus, there's all these other vehicles that don't have speedometers, so we have no idea how fast those are going. Well, I decided to design an experiment that would allow me to precisely measure the speed of a whole bunch of the different Fortnite vehicles. Now, if you were in a science classroom, the way you would measure the speed of something is probably with a photo gate. A photo gate has these two gates, and when an object passes the first gate, it starts a timer, and then when it passes the second gate, it stops the timer. Now, if you know the distance between those two gates, and you know the time it takes for the object to go from one to the other, then you can calculate the speed, because speed is just distance divided by time. So I built a photo gate inside Fortnite Creative. There's a gate that starts a timer, and another one that ends the timer. And the time is kept actually using the race manager, which keeps pretty accurate time to the nearest hundredth of a second. I put all sorts of crazy vehicles into this virtual laboratory. Okay, there's normal cars and pickup trucks and semis, but there's also uh, the octane and a shopping cart, a UFO, an airplane, the hoverboard, everything I could think of. So the way this experiment works is you, you hop into a vehicle and you, you get it up to its maximum speed and you drive it through the two gates. And the time is captured for the time that it takes to travel that 50 meters between the two gates. And then you slam into a huge exploding wall which allows you to reset and do it all over again. I figure that measuring the time it takes to go between those gates three times would give you a pretty good average value, which allows you to get a, a good measurement for the average speed. Now I've created a variety of resources to help you do this experiment yourself. So in the description below this video, you'll find a link to an instruction sheet. You'll also find a, a data sheet. This is like a spreadsheet where you can record all your time measurements for each vehicle, and it will calculate the average and the speed in a few different units. You'll also find a link to a data collection video. This is if you can't get into Fortnite yourself, I have gone in for you in Fortnite Creative and, and driven each of these vehicles through the Fortnite photo gate three times. And you can use the video to collect the data you need to calculate the speed for each of those vehicles. Of course, the ultimate is if you can actually get into the game yourself. So I've provided you the island code so that you can go in, drive these vehicles around, collect the data, and answer all sorts of interesting questions, right? Questions like, you know, what if I add chonkers or a cow catcher to these vehicles? How does that impact the speed? How much does the boost impact the maximum speed that each of these cars can reach? Or maybe you could even design your own experiment to measure the acceleration of each of these vehicles instead of their maximum speed. My hope as you do this experiment is that you'll learn not only about the physics of measuring speed, but also about some of the decisions that the game designers made. Certain compromises that they made to make the game more fun, even if it is a little less accurate. Whatever you discover, I want to hear about it. So use the comments below this video to share with me what you find. Are the speedometers accurate? What units do they use? And what new experiments have you come up with? I hope you have an awesome time. And remember, virtual worlds make awesome laboratories.